Hi everyone, this is the all new smart hashtag one. That's how they're meant to say it, not number one, okay? So, today I'm going to review this car. I'm going to tell you about the design, the interior, practicality and specs of this car. So let's get started. So, the design from the front. It kind of looks like a cartoonish, cool, cute car. And I like it about that. It looks very nice. With well, the sloping bonnet which comes down, this is very good. And the colour of this car is also very nice. It's a nice, shiny colour. I like it. Then you got your smart badge. This is a little bit dark and dark chrome. It looks nice. It just says smart. So one interesting thing about the smart is it is owned by Geely and Mercedes and it is built in China using Chinese technology which you can see when you go inside it's very nice. Moving over here you got these very big LED lights so these are smart CyberSpark LED lights they look nice and they're very high brightness and they extend all the way to the center over there and goes to the other side. Here's the lights of the new smart hashtag one And you got a cool light show when you start the car. All very nice and smart looking. I like that about it. It's cute, it's fun. Moving downwards to the lower bumper, there is no grill on this car because it's not required. But you do have some air vents over here, and these are pretty large air vents, and these feed air into the motors to cool them down. You got this chrome strip surrounding it to make it a little bit sporty, and you also got cameras over here. Now, moving over here, you got these little vents over here, these feed air into that, and these are actual vents and they're good for aerodynamics and efficiency of the car. You also got lots of uh, plastic cladding over here, which I like, and you got these black bits over here in gloss, those also look nice. I like the front of this car, it's a smart looking car, like the name suggests, smart. Now let's go to the side of the smart hashtag one. The overall side design of the Smart Hashtag 1, it looks nice, it's, got, it's pretty high for an SUV, but it's not too high. It's smooth and curvy. So let's start from the front over here. You have 19 inch aero wheels, and they look nice. The black, the dark, the black, those look nice. You got a Smart Badge over there. Nice badge. Moving over here, you've got some black cladding to make it more off-roady, which it does not look. It's not an off-road car, it's mostly going to be used for city and motorway driving. Now, moving over here, this car has got the two-tone paint, so you've got the green over here and black over here, which makes it look much more sportier than it is. Uh, that's nice, and you've got these roof rails over here. These are basically just for show. You've got the door mirrors over here. These are nice door mirrors, and you've got the blinkers over there in them. And down over here, you've got your camera. Moving to the door handles, the door handles on this car open a little bit differently. I'll show you how they work right now. So guys, this is the key for the smart hashtag one. It's in the cover because I don't want to damage it. Looks nice. So when you unlock the door, the mirrors come out. You put your hand there to open the door, which for people who does not know how to use it can be a little bit of a struggle. You unlock it. And people might think it's there, there, then only people figure it out. And you got some lights underneath there to guide the people down there. So you can see in the night. And the thing that's making so much noise right now is the intercooler of the car, all and the air filters, everything is running at full thrust. That's the reason you got this noise. So you also got smart written over here on the door handles. And these door handles are poppy the door handles, like most new cars. Yeah, simple. You got these metallic window surrounds. These run from here to all the way to the back. And it's a little bit different than normal cars as they don't join over here. And the windows, they are frameless windows. Spotty. Now, moving to the back, you got a charging port over here. And if you look inside there, you got your smart badge over there also. So, you got your smart badge over here. That's nice. And if you move over here, you got a 
huge panoramic sunroof which you can open and yeah it looks nice this is the back of the smart hashtag one it's nice looking you got this crumbs around from the side that runs to the back all the way and goes around you got a dark uh, smart badge over there looks nice the moving down over here you got a full and tail bar which starts from here goes all the way across so this is what happens to the light when you turn it on there you go a nice light show to greet you into the car and if you look closely over here there are these small elements of diamond metallic crust over here and that right there now moving down over here you got your hashtag one button over here but for most people they call it number one that's a little bit of just missed just anyway let's move down moving down over here you got some more black cladding looks very nice and off-roady but you also got some modern bits such as this chrome and this dark anthracite material over here that looks nice and yeah that's all you got in the back going of this car so that's the car just locking there so what do you think of the overall design of this car so this is what the mercedes eqb should have looked like it's a much more cool looking car than the eqb and yeah if you want to watch my video of the eqb click on the pop-up button right there so now let's go inside the smart hashtag one so when you unlock this car the doors come open and this car does not have a start stop button instead you just get in and put that there and you close the door and you're good to go but now let's explore the interior of the smart hashtag one so come on in when you close the door of this car scene moves you forward to a pretty good drawing position so you get a door over here frameless windows that's very nice you got a cute little door handle over here uh, the materials over here are pretty good soft touch materials all the way through here and down over here it's a little bit cheap but it's doable you got this nice ceramic kind of finish it's very nice it's very similar to the one you get in the range rover the new one the big fat range rover you get like ceramic on the gear selector and all but over here they kind of replicated it on this part over here you also got metal window switches and it's one touch and after that you have frameless windows you got no speakers on the door over here because they are hidden over there that's nice so now over here you got your smart badge over there and the kick plate when you get in and it also illuminates so that's nice so you got the steering wheel of your smart hashtag one over here it's very nice to hold and very comfortable you got the smart badge over there and smart written over here and the steering wheel is flat bottom and you also got this stitching over here in white that just livens things up you got these metallic switches over here and that's all nice you got a cruise control over here and all your infotainment and stuff controls over there the best part about this car is it's so minimalist it looks nice the main reason of that is most of all features are controlled to this massive infotainment screen over here which i'll talk you through later in the video but now let's move on to the digital driver's display right in front of us so digital driver's display it's a pretty small display and it's pretty hard to see when you're looking forward because you have to look down it shows you some of the basic stuff you need to see such as your range and all but on these high top and spec cars if you look up you have you have a heads up display which you can sort of see uh, in the video that's nice so now moving to the main infotainment system over here so this is a smart own system it's not copied from Mercedes or anything it looks nice and it's very quick to respond you have this big thing over here where you can hit navigation and you can see the map and it's pretty fast and quick to move and responsive if you unlock that you can also search for charging stations nearby it does it search and it finds you the best one uh, and the nearest one out of there it also gives you a rating of what they are so the best ones is 4 out of 4 2 out of 4 and 1 out of 4 and stuff and 
if you look over here you go to consumption for the last time for the last few minutes you can also play this bigger and then you've got navigation which i showed you earlier and you also got other stuff such as media energy help settings automatic park assist 360 camera apps phone and other medias so if you go into the automatic parking thing the car can search for uh, parking spaces by itself or it can select the parking slot by itself so you can do three types of parking and you can also see you got the guidelines for where you to park and if you hit this you have a 360 degree camera view so you got the frequently used views so you got the front view you also got the back view the side view and the other side you also got one for the blind spots so this blind spot and the blind spot in the back you also got more angles such as that angle which shows you the movement of the steering wheel so you can curb your wheel easily then you got a front wide view you got a back tires view and you also got that view of the back and you can also have like 360 view so you can view around see everything in the room so as you got a car and the doors and everything that's nice once you get out of here you can do other stuff also all right let's get out of that the best thing about this car is it's mostly voice command operated so you see this fox over here he does he's the avatar and he does most of his stuff so here's the voice commands button on the steering wheel you hit it what would you like to do next uh, increase the temperature to 22.5 degrees It knows where the uh, direction is coming from, the audio is coming from, so it should increase mine, not the passengers. So the passenger said it, it would have done the passengers. Okay, so there we go. And if you hit climate, you get a big setting where you can control it. So you got max, where everything is on full blast. You got auto and eco. Let's go and warm. Let's put the AC on. Then if you come into the air quality, it shows you the AQS level and the PM point and PM level outside also. You also got smart air, which does like cool kind of stuff and it accords the temperature accordingly. You also got deodorization, you just see. Uh, the, the fox is farted and all the smell is going out of the car. There's all the window and ev it's putting all the, the, the max to get the smell out. It's showing for 168 seconds, it's going to do that and clear all the smell inside this car, which is a really nice feature. You can turn that off also. So, yeah, that's a pretty good feature. And if you click, you can like reduce the air quality inside the vehicle. That's what it does. That's very nice. And you also got seat heating. You got three levels. That's nice. And you also got some of the features such as the weather and settings. If you go into the settings, you can see everything about the car such as regeneration so if you want it to be uh, high uh, standard regeneration or strong let's put it on strong so the car reduces speed quicker you also got light uh, power saving you can make it light medium or heavy where it's hard to turn then you got open your tailgate increase the height of the car so you can like increase the height of the tailgate preset that's very nice you can close it you can enable the tire lock control the door mirrors so this is kind of like Tesla like so you have to control your door mirrors uh, by using your buttons over here so I want to control the right mirrors so now look at the right mirror so now I can s lower make it into a good position for me to see everything I need to see on the ground and everything and once you're done you just hit the screen and it goes away you can also open and close the sunroof blinds accordingly. You can also do the same for the heads-up display by adjusting it using the, the steering wheel. And you can also change the angle of it and increase the brightness. And you can also put it into snow mode where everything gets much more brighter and everything. That's nice. Then you can also control the passenger seat from here. So look at the passenger seat now. It's moving forwards. So you can sort of kill the passenger if you hate them. And you can reduce, recline, and do all that sort of stuff. 
that's a pretty good feature you also got more stuff in this new car such as ambient lighting so you can have themes of ambient lighting or you can have dual colors or a single color and you have got lots of options to pick from that's nice the screen is a little bit laggy but it's pretty fast you can also turn on the adaptive lighting and the fog light you can also turn on stellar mode uh, this was the feature to turn on the daytime running lights as well as the main lights you can turn that off you can turn on the waiting lights on the welcome lights so you got that design which I showed you in at the start of the video or you got this design so you got two different designs so A yeah I like A it looks much cooler you also got environmental lights so you can uh, choose the time how much time the lights will stay after you lock the car that's nice but if you go into general you can change the music settings you can increase the table and all and you got the forward one in assistant, the rear cross and door opening one so if a cycle is coming, cycle is coming and you open the door, the door will like beep at you that's a really cool feature moving down you got the lane departure warning and the lane assist and the parking brake settings and then you got vehicle control so you can put it into towing mode and stuff you can also change the like horn and flash and all and you can also put the time of the seat heating one of the stuff you can do is that stuff and you can also kill such all doors or unlock the vehicle in P gear and yeah you can do lots of stuff you can also do see all of the stuff of the vehicle you can also see the system things you can also update it using that so it's up to date and it's a really cool system this one I like it a lot and you also got a panoramic sunroof in this car you can open it by the switch over here or you can just say to your fox what would you like to do next? open sunroof blind And there we go, it opens it all the way. Yep, come on. So, we got there and you can see through completely. That's nice. We can also say to do lots of other stuff also, which I showed you earlier. So, moving over here, you have more of the ceramic style stuff over here. It's very nice. I like it a lot. The quality is also pretty good, so you've got soft touch materials over there on the top of the dash. The materials over here don't feel too cheap and not hollow. The air vents are pretty solid and metal. You've got ambient lighting in them. That's also solid and not solid. Let's see if this the console wobbles. No, very strong and the build quality is very good. So, a few more things I want to show you is driving mode. You have sport. The car makes that noise, and you got and comfort. Let's go sports mode. That's nice. And then you can also turn on the rear heating and stuff. Also, you can also put the assets on, and that's another feature of this car. The indicators on this car sound just so good. It's so nice. The other side. It's such nice and I like it. It's just so cool and elegant and modern and everything. So, storage and practicality in this car right now. Let's go. So, you got this area over here, which you open by just doing that. That thing come open, and you got a 12 watt socket over there. You got a, two USB C's, and you also got a wireless charging pad. And my phone doesn't have wireless charging, so let's just close that and move on. So if you open over here, you got two cup holders over here and an area to hold your phone. So then you also got more storage over here. So this comes open and you also got a charging card over here. And you also got AC inside over here, so to cool and chill your drinks, you can do that also. That's nice. And then over here, you got a glove box, which you open by hitting a switch over here. And it's pretty damped, so it's very good quality, and it's an average size, that's good. The quality over here is also good, and yeah, it's only when you get lower down in the car, the quality starts to go a little bit down, but that's fine. So there's also more storage, which you'll see right now. 
so you also got some storage down over here that's nice and it's good you can play some stuff there that's good and yeah so that's all we need to know about the cabin of this car and the seat controls they're electrically operated they're very quick and easy to move the controls are right down there so that's a little bit hard to operate unlike mercedes where they have on the door top and the seat quality is also pretty good it's leather and it's like vegan friendly weather you also got some white bits to lighten things up and if you look on the headrest over here which i'll show you you can see right now see you got some white bits over there that's cool and you got some more bits in there that's good now let's check out the seats in the back unlike in the front where it's very easy to open the door handles in the back it's a little bit more it's a little bit more tricky but it's doable so you open you got a pretty good entering to get inside the car and i'll just move over the space in the back of the smart hashtag one near room's pretty good and leg room's also pretty good the problem is the under tie support is pretty bad because the batteries are mounted on the floor so that results on the seat being higher up so you don't have that much uh, under tie support that's my only complaint the seat itself is very soft and you got some practicality in the back over here also which i'll show you later but if you try the middle seat it's a little bit more harder than the outer two seats but it's pretty good to sit at and you can put three and you can put a feet there and two people can also sit on the outside shoulder space might be a little bit of a trouble anyway let's move over here the seats are very nice you also got the wide bit from the front and also that's nice you got your isofix soil points over here and these do not come off so you will lose them you also got an armrest over here uh it's pretty nice and it's leather but you got the cup holders over here which means you might put your hand in them that's not nice if you also you also got two loadings so you hit that and that folds down so you can put long items through the middle and two people on the outside that's very nice you also got some air vents over here and you got the ambient lighting surrounding them that's also nice you also have some seat pockets and those are also in good finish and one thing you might want to do is move the seat a little bit forward because of one thing I'll show you later in the video so you may want to like sit like there for one reason in the back which I'll show you right now but before that I want to show you the boot you might think why have I come to the front of this car but the reason is you open this and you pull that you got some storage in there 15 litres of space you got in there you can place your cables and stuff in there it's pretty small but now let's take out the actual boot of the small hashtag rack so uh, using the key or by hitting the button over here automatically opens and that goes with it and it's pretty good safety mind your head uh, storage in here is pretty bad that's the reason you might want to move the seat forward because it's only 273 liters in here that's a little bit less than uh, a Kia e-Niro and the EQA from Mercedes uh, you can also fold down the seats and after you fold down the seat you get a boot space of 411 liters which is pretty good we've also got some practicality in here such as nants and tight end hooks over there and if you got some on the floor storage and there's your charging cable and it's pretty easy to load things in and out of the car also that's good and you can close it electronically and it beeps now let's check out the motors and batteries of the smart hashtag one the smart hashtag one specs it's got a 62 kilowatt of our battery 335 kilometers of range and uh, that's what some people claim they got but the official estimated claim from the company is 490 uh, kilometers but you'll get probably like 335 as there are many different factors that you have to consider when you're driving an electric car and the horsepower is 272 horsepower and so you got 343 millimeters of torque 
and it's rear wheel drive. It has no gearbox as it is electric. So that's the specs of the Smart Hashtag 1. So you can charge from the car using the wall box over here like that or by plugging in the mains and also do that. So if you come over there you can see uh, what's inside the car when you're charging and also you can see this green light which shows you you are charging. You can see the amount of charge you got and the amount of range you got left. So if you're putting it in dynamic mode you got 319 kilometers Put it in standard, you go 425. You can also turn up the charging, and it stays the current energy usage is 9.5, 9.4, and the voltage is 19 volts. The reason is it's pretty slow right now. The reason why the charging speed is pretty low right now is because the car's nearly full. It's 97 volts full, and the higher we get, it's, it takes more time to charge. So what's my final verdict of the Smart Hashtag 1? It's a pretty good car, and it looks nice. It's got the features inside. The only letdown is the practicality, but the range is pretty good also. It's much better than uh, most of the cars, and if you can get that range in real world, it's very good. What do you want? These cars are mostly used for town driving and stuff, but these will be excellent. And yeah, I'll give, uh, if I had to give it a rating, i will give it 7.9 out of 10. That's a pretty fair rating for this car, because it does most of the work. They are also much bigger, better. E results outside there, out of. But for the price money this offers, for nearly 60,000 euros, it's pretty good value for money. So now, that's it. See you soon. Bye bye.